cold breeze chilled his bones. The Mongol emissary rode to the gates of the Jin fortress, in tow a baggage train full of sheep, yak, and fox fur. Jin soldiers ushered for the Mongols to dismount their horses and leave the wagons. As their feet touched the ground, the Jin rushed them and beat them over the sides and head, jeering and forcing them back. The Jin have taken the tribute and left them without even their mounts to make the long trek home. Like wounded animals, the Mongol men limp away into the desert. They are truly a pathetic sight to behold. Wounds of shame run deep. The Tatars, the Tatars fled, fled and concealed, concealed themselves, themselves in the sandy deserts, and the, the hatred, hatred entered into the marrow of their bones. The Jinn live in acute fear of the ferocious nomads beyond the Great Wall. Every year, the Emperor dispatches troops to attack villagers on the stack. They take many slaves and kill any warriors that don't escape the approach of the army. The emperor calls it culling the number of fighting men. This strategy does weaken the nomads, but it unites them in their hatred of the jinn.